If your TwinSafe project demands many safety functions leveraging the same code, then you should take a look at the command line. The command line is located right here below the safety application worksheet. To demonstrate, I'm going to create eight emergency stop functions based on eStop function variant three in the TwinSafe application guide. As you can see, our worksheet is currently empty. I could start typing in the command line, but to make this process more efficient, I'm going to do it in Excel. So first thing first, I'm going to drop in the eight networks that I'm going to need to create my emergency stop blocks. Now over to Excel, the first function available to us is to add the blocks. The syntax is the function block name, space, assigned instance name, space, and the network name. And then I've added a concat to bring it together for use in TwinSafe. So I'm going to expand that out. That's our eight emergency stop blocks. Expand this out. Delete the extra EDM block. And now for use in TwinSafe, copy. And now you can see all of our blocks have been named, instantiated, and you can see that the order of operation is based on the rows. So the ESOP blocks are one through eight, the EDMs are then nine through 16. Next, we're gonna add variables. So using the standard tools in Excel, again, we can build this out. The syntax to add variables is FB instance name, arrow operator, port name equals variable name. Once I create my first one, I can then expand it out. Here we started with two rows because we're using dual contacts on our e-stop. So there's e-stop one and e-stop two, even though we're on a different module on the machine. But this way, the Excel tools work properly. On these last two sets, you can see I'm using contactor EDM module one contactor EDM module one. In this case, I'm taking the same variable and assigning it in two locations. Copy for twin safe usage. Paste, enter. All of my variables have now been assigned to the function blocks. You can see contact or EDM module one is actually used in two locations. Now I'm gonna create the logical connections. I could just drag from port to port, but we're gonna continue doing this in command line. Back to our spreadsheet under create connections. Expand this out. You can see the syntax is FB instance name, arrow operator to port name equals FB instance name, arrow operator port name, basically a port to port connection. Grab our code and drop in the command line. And now we have our arrows. This really does a lot to get us a head start when we've got a lot of code to build, but it's not a complete project. We still need to go in then with all of our variables and then link them individually to our alias devices, to the correct channel. So we'll do all of our linking here. And then as you can see, since we're using a two contact emergency stop, I'm probably gonna wanna go into the properties and change this from single channel to two channel so that now we actually have a discrepancy time. Hopefully you enjoyed this introduction on how to use the command line effectively. If you enjoyed this video, please follow.